Hi guys, it's Bougie Center Princess here. I'm back with another video. Now this video was requested by you guys as well. You wanna know how I put on my wigs and style them and a few tips along the way. So if you wanna watch, stay tuned. Now keep in mind, this is just how I do my wigs. I don't even know if this is like the official way. This is just how I've learned to do wigs over the years. So if you wanna see how I put on a wig, here it is. <laughs> When you first buy a lace front wig, it'll have like some excess on it. I've already trimmed mine. All you'll do is like, it'll have the excess about like an inch or two and you just cut it down to where the hairline is so you can't see it. I've already done that. And then if there's any shine in it, you can take a dryer sheet and rub it along your hair. So I've also seen some people put the brush, they like poke it through on the brush and just brush their hair. I've also already done that as well. And then I just brush out my wig. I use this type of a brush to brush my wigs. It's like um, just bristles. I don't know what they're called, but this is what I think works the best. I feel like regular brushes really like tear through wigs and kind of like break off the hair. And I feel like this gets the knots out, but it's still gentle. Let's see, look how much better it looks already. It looks so much better. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. I've seen people use either glue to secure their wigs or tape. I have tape on the way because I want to try it. I've only used glue so far. So I'm going to be showing you the glue method. Now I use Ghost Bond XL Extra Moisture Control. It's invisible bonding for lace and poly systems. I got it off Amazon. It was really cheap. I want to say it was like between six and twelve dollars. I don't really remember. I will put it up here. This is the only wig glue I've ever tried, but it works pretty well. It just smells a lot, so be prepared for that. <laughs> Next, you take your hair. And I usually either French braid it down or I put it in like a low bun or even a kind of like a twist. Like I take my hair in a low pony and I twist it up. And then I just put a little rubber band on, over it because I want it to look as flat as possible. See, that's pretty flat. Next, you'll need a wig cap. Um, I prefer to use one just the same color as my skin just so it looks a little more like my head under there. I just open it up, put it on, and then I tuck my hair underneath. Okay. My sideburns always hang out a little bit. I don't know what else to do about that. All right, and this is pretty much what it should look like. Next, you'll just dab the glue along all. Alrighty, I'm off to a great start. You'll just take the glue along the rim of your. What is happening? Why is it pouring out like this? Earlier, I had left the cap open and then I tried to fix it by poking a hole and I guess I poked too big of a hole because it went everywhere. So I just kind of put it all along the rim. Now I take my wig. Okay, every wig has different combs and different straps. First, you adjust your straps on the back of your wig. They look like this. Uh, and basically, you just put it on your head however tight you want it. So it fits your head. I put mine there. Every wig has different combs in it. Mine has one on the top and on the sides. I usually prefer one in the back, but that's okay that this doesn't have one. So some people put the combs in first, some people put them in after. Uh, when I put glue on, I usually try and put them in first and then just readjust them as needed. So I take the first one and I put it right under here. And then I take the two side combs and I push them in on the sides. And then I take the back and pull it through, up and over. And 
and then I just adjust it from here. This is where I have to redo the cones. All right, that comb is placed. I'm going to adjust my forehead a little more. Give myself a little more forehead. There we go. And then I just kind of push where the glue is along it, readjusting the other comb. And then I just push on it for a sec. Now today I'm gonna to be straightening my wig just a little bit because I think it got some creases. So I'm gonna brush out my hair while it sets and then we will straighten it. If your wig is synthetic, you most likely won't be able to put any heating tools on it unless it says heat resistant. But even then I always put it on the lowest heat setting and um, don't leave it on there long. And always just test a small patch in the back. That's what I would advise. All right, it's already looking really good. If you have a non-wide part wig and you want more of a wide part, you can take concealer and a little brush and go along and draw your hair part on. I don't with this wig, but that's just an option of what you can do. Literally, they have like a little elf brush, an elf concealer brush, and that's what I use. And I use an elf concealer brush, some concealer, and I draw on my hair part on some of my wigs. That's how it looks so far. Not bad. Now I'm going to take my straightener. I have it on 365. That's my lowest setting. And I'm just going to take each little strand layer and go over it really quickly. Not too quick. Like that. And go over all my hair. All right, this is what it looks like with one side straight. I just think it looks a little better when you run a little straightener over it. That's it, not straight. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks a teeny bit better. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Alrighty, that's what it looks like with both sides straightened. It's already looking pretty good, I would say. Alrighty, and this last step only applies if you like a shiny look or if you have a curly wig, like a crimped wig, any wig with any texture, I would recommend getting this. Um, it's box braid and extension sheen spray. It works on wigs too, it's for extensions, whatever you want. And you just spray it on and it makes it look a little shinier. I use it on my curly wigs mostly. I'm not gonna be using it today because I kinda like this look right now. But that is how I style my wigs. If you want to keep up with me and more videos, make sure you're following me on all my social medias. I also ask on there what you guys want to see next. So if you want to pick what video I do next, make sure you're following me. I have the links in my bio below. Last week I asked you guys which you prefer, sativa, indica, or hybrid. And the shout out winner I chose was Megan. Thank you so much for watching, Megan. For our next shout out question, what color wig would you like to see me in next? I want to know below. It can be any color, combination of colors, a style wig. I wanna know what wig you guys think I would look good in. And thank you so much for watching. Love you, my bougie babes.